I'm going to demonstrate acquiring a real-time clock from the World Wide Web and inserting the display of that clock in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. To do this I'll be using the Windows 10 operating system and Office 2016. Here is an analog clock with a black background I acquired from the web and I'm going to show you how I use such a real-time clock in a presentation. The slide on the screen now illustrates this real-time clock in the bottom right-hand corner of the slide and I use it for time management. When I lecture I like to get my material complete and finish on time. I found that I was constantly glancing at my watch to do this and it was distracting. So by inserting a real-time clock in the slide it allows me to be less obvious about my time management while adjusting the pace of delivery toward the end of a lecture. I usually insert the clock on the last few slides of a presentation. You may have many other uses for this and I'm about to demonstrate how we can acquire the clock from the World Wide Web and then put it in a Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll be using Internet Explorer for this demonstration. I've enlarged the mouse pointer, put a trail on it, and I've also used the control key for identification so you can follow me more readily. The search parameter I'm going to use is flash clock for PPT. We go down to this site, Matt's Clock, and we'll find some interesting clocks, very decorative in the majority. So you can scan through there and have a look and see what you can find but for my purposes they're rather decorative and don't suit. So we'll back out of that and scan down to, or scroll down I should say, to the second page because I know on there waiting for us is the site where I acquired some clocks which are suitable for me and that site is Dynamic Info Screen. So we look on Dynamic Info Screen and there is the black analog clock that you've already seen me use. So we're going to say download we will open and we will save to folder. Following good practice we will save it to the desktop. Unpack here and we finish with the zip opener and we finish with Internet Explorer so we'll close them off. There's the folder, the last item on the desktop that we just acquired and there is the clock, importantly a .swf a shockwave flash. I'm changing the name to a simple name. I've called it Anna Clock. I'm going to drag and drop that into the RTC folder, which is the folder where I'm developing the PowerPoint presentation. It's important that this .swf file resides in the folder with your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation on which you're trying to insert the real-time clock. I've now opened the PowerPoint presentation into which I'm going to embed the real-time clock we've just obtained from the web. I'm going to inspect the tabs on the ribbon to see if one of those tabs is labelled Developer. Before we can proceed, we will need to make sure that that is available and I'm going to show you the process to obtain that. If you find Developer is already an existing tab on your ribbon, you can ignore this next step. Move our mouse pointer over to File, left click, move the mouse pointer down to Options, left click, then move across to Customize Ribbon, left click, now move across to the panel on the right, grab the scroll bar and move it down and we find a box labeled developer. Check that box then click OK. Now when we return to the ribbon we find a tab, a new tab labeled developer. Once we've added the developer tab to the ribbon on the PowerPoint application on a given PC we won't need to do this again. Also you only need to do this on the PC that's being used for development and not the PC that's being used for presentation. I'm now going to add our real-time clock to a PowerPoint slide. We must ensure that the PC that's running this has Adobe Flash Player installed, so if you don't have that, you should attend to that before we can expect this to work. Left click on the Developer tab, move down to Controls, More Controls, insert a control from the set of controls available on this computer, left click on that, 
Now grab the scroll bar and move down to the S's where you will find Shockwave Flash Object. Left click on that. Left click on OK. And now we're in a position we can draw the outline of the clock that we're going to insert. There's our object. Right click on that. Left click on Property Sheet. And on Property Sheet, go across and find Movie. And now we enter the name of our SWF file against Movie, which is Anna CLK. Dot SWF. Don't forget the dot SWF. And close. Let's move our mouse pointer over to the slideshow icon. Left click and see what we've produced. If you want to duplicate this clock on additional slides, move the mouse pointer to the clock image, left click, then move the mouse pointer to the Home tab, left click, move down to Copy, left click, then select the slide on which you wish to duplicate the clock, left click, move up to Paste, and select Paste, Keep Source Formatting. And there we've duplicated the clock on an additional slide. You may wish to have an identical clock appear on each slide of the PowerPoint presentation. If that's the case, you can proceed as follows. First, we move our mouse pointer up to the View tab. Then we select Slide Master. Move the scroll bar up to the top of the slides. Click on the first slide then insert the object as we did previously. Go to Developer, Controls, scroll down till we find the S's, select Shockwave Flash Object, OK. Now with our tool we draw the outline for the clock. Right click on the completed object, Select Property Sheet, and against Movie, we key in the clock name, Anna CLK dot SWF. Don't forget the SWF. Close. Move our mouse pointer up to View. Select Normal. And we can see that each of the slides now has this clock. Let's see if it's worked. Select slide 2. Move our mouse pointer across to slide show. And indeed, we now have a clock, an identical clock, on each slide of the PowerPoint presentation. In this presentation, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you'll see a small digital clock. This may be much less intrusive on your slide space. If you're presenting this PowerPoint on a PC other than the one on which you developed it, it will be necessary to include the .swf clock files in the folder along with your PowerPoint file. If you're using the export function, you must copy the .swf files into the export folder because that doesn't happen automatically. Well, good luck with this and I hope this has assisted you.